Greetings! It's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can upload your Godot WebGL game to GitHub Pages. Let's get right into it. So you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a GitHub account and the software GitHub Desktop installed. There'll be links in the description below for you to click on if you don't have those two already. And the first step is we need to actually build our Godot game. So I'm going to click on project and then export. And I'm going to click on their WebGL preset. And the important thing is you want thread support to be unticked or this won't work. And then we can click on export project. And once you've navigated to where you want your game to be exported, I strongly recommend you name the file index.html and make sure web export is also for .html. You can export it with debug if you want to, but you don't need to. Then I'm going to click on save. Since my game is really tiny, it took a couple of seconds. Now you need to go to github.com and create a new repository. Then you're going to want to give it a name. I'm going to do Godot WebGL test. And this repo needs to be public. If you want to use GitHub pages with a private repo, you're going to need to pay money to GitHub. So we're going to keep it public. Then we want to scroll down and click on create repository. The next step involves you going into GitHub desktop. You can use other version control software if you like, but I'll be using GitHub desktop because it's really easy to use with GitHub. And then you want to go on file, clone repository. And then you, what you're going to do is you want to then search for the Git repo that you made on the website. So I called mine Godot WebGL test and there it is. So I'm going to click on that and make sure the local path is where you want a local version of this repo to be stored. And then you can click on clone. Then what you want to do is you want to click on show in explorer here. And then what you want to do is you want to then navigate to where you built your Godot WebGL game and then put the files in this folder. So I found the folder where I built my Godot WebGL game. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to drag every file in the folder. Then I'll right click, click on copy. And then I'll go to my Git repo that I made, right click, click on paste. And now all of the files for the WebGL build are in our local git repository and then after we want to actually do a commit so here we're going to type added files for build then we're going to click on commit to main and then once you've done the commit you'll see the commit messages here and then you can click on publish branch and this is going to push up your webgl game onto github and we've successfully pushed it up, so now we can go back to the GitHub website in our web browser. And the next step is, we want to click on the settings button here. And then we want to click on pages. And we want to make sure the source is deploy from branch. Then for the branch, we want to then click on the none. And then we want to select the branch that we've put our game in. Since we just used the main branch, we're going to do main. As for the folder, just keep it on root because we just put all of the files for our WebGL game into the root folder for our repo. Then you want to click on save. Now, you're going to want to wait a moment because it can sometimes take a few minutes for GitHub pages to update and go live with your Godot game. So the final step is, what you're going to want to do is, you need to now type in the URL for the GitHub pages. And the format goes, HTTPS, colon slash slash, then your GitHub username, then dot github.io, slash, the name of the repository, then slash. So this will be in the description below. And this is what it looks like for my repo because my username is Maxo Diddly. And the name of the repo is Godot WebGL Test. And then I'm going to click the enter key to load the page. And as you can see, my Godot game is up and playable. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.